Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get a Pokemon Mini emulator on your PS Vita or PS TV. So if you don't know what the Pokemon Mini is, it's kind of like a Tamagotchi. It's really small, and it plays these kind of like pixel games. And um, there's actually quite a lot of different games you can get on there. So if you're a fan of Pokemon and you've never played these before, and um, maybe it's worth a try, giving it a go, you might enjoy it. So if you guys want to get an emulator, you want to go ahead and just start up Vita Shell because we will need to connect our PS Vita to our PC. So go ahead, press select, go and connect it, and I will show you guys what to do next. So there will be a link in the description so you guys can get the Pokemon Mini emulator. So if you scroll down, what we're looking for is the Sony PSP version. So just click on this and then it will begin downloading. Unfortunately, we cannot get a PS Vita VPK. We have to run this through the Adrenaline emulator. But anyway, once it's downloaded, go to your downloads folder and find a zip file in there. And what we want to do is just get it, right click and make sure you select extract to Pokemon Mini. If you just extract it, it won't put it in a folder. So make sure you extract it to the folder and then you can double click and all the files should be in here. So the next thing we have to do is make sure you go inside the file folder, right click, new folder and just call it ROMs, games, give it kind of any name like that you want. Now go back to your downloads and you need to find some Pokemon mini ROMs. Now it's up to you where you decide to get your ROMs from, they should be in the .min format, they're pretty easy to find and once you've got them let's just drag and drop them into the Pokemon mini folder and then simply just select all of them and put them into the ROMs folder. So that is literally it for the setup, let's go and put this onto our PlayStation Vita, so let's just click on it. We need to go to view at the top we need to go to hidden items because we need to put it inside of the PSP MU folder so let me just go back let's just copy it back onto our PS Vita we need to go to PSP MU PSP game um, right click and paste this is where you will put your games if you were to run them on the adrenaline emulator so now what we can do is go back onto our PS Vita and I'll show you guys how to set it up and how to get it working Okay guys, so now we are back, let's just close out of Vita Shell, and we need to start up the Adrenaline Emulator. Now you can also add the bubble to your home screen if you wish to, um, using the Adrenaline Bubble Editor, but I'm just going to start the Adrenaline Emulator like normal, and then I will be able to launch it up from there. So what we're going to do, let's go down onto our memory stick, and let's just find it. Here it is, Pokemon Mini version 0.5.2, probably the last version ever, but let's just press X to boot it up. So this is exactly what a menu looks like, we've got resume, load ROM, load state, so you can save on this as well, um, save state, reset, options, if you go into options and press circle, um, as you can see there's lots of different stuff we can change in here, you can change the sound, um, all of that kind of stuff, let's just go back, and of course we've got platform, about and exit, so if you go into load ROM and press circle, then go into your ROMs folder and press circle, this is where we can find our games, now the best game I think I got is probably Pokemon Race, so you can press press circle, and it will load up the ROM like normal. So you go, this is what they look like. And then they actually look really nice on the PS Vita. Obviously the Pokemon mini screen is really, really small. Oh, it's got mini in the name. And um, yeah, it actually looks really nice on here considering how small and um, how much of an upscale it's had. So let's just give this a quick try. This is like some Japanese Pokemon game. I think this is like a racing one or something. They do have working sound. The sound works perfectly fine as well. Now if you guys want to select another game, I'll just access the main menu, you just press select and it will literally just load out of it like this. So we can go into load ROM again and press circle and we can choose a different game, maybe like Pokemon Zany cards, this is a Europe ROM. So not all of the games on this are in Japanese, um, some of them in like English, you know, so like this one here. Now I don't even know what most of these games are, I've never really had the chance to play a Pokemon Mini before, I've never actually seen one, um, you know I've seen plenty of pictures of them in YouTube videos, but yeah they're actually um, pretty cool things, maybe I'll have to get one one day. And um, yeah this emulator is really good, it plays the games perfectly fine, they look really nice on the big screen, and um, yeah it's a pretty good emulator, so if you guys want to get this, try some Pokemon Mini games, make sure to have a look at it. We can press select again, there isn't really anything else, there is exit press circle on that and it will literally just exit the emulator so that is pretty much it for this video if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one